Greetings! Today, we're gonna be making chili in a slow cooker. Now, I could give you this whole romantic spiel about how chili is cozy and you can snuggle up with it, but TBH, I just think it's really delicious, so that's why we're making it. And I hope you think it's delicious too. Our first star of the day, some ground chicken. Mmm, raw meat, yum, yum, yum. Actually, it kind of looks like booby. Chicken boobies, anyone? No? Okay. So I'm gonna take these beautiful chicken boobies and put them in here. This is a bag of chili seasoning, and this does not have any weird crapola in it, because if you look on the back of a lot of these like seasoning packets, there's some weird stuff in there. This is just a blend of spices, peppers, and herbs with a little bit of rice starch. This is a really easy way to season your chicken, because you just sprinkle it on like that, and I use about a quarter to a half of the bag. It's really up to you. Things are about to get hot in here. Olive oil in a hot pan. Pre-chopped onions, because I don't want to chop an onion in the pan. Our chicken, yep, you guessed it, in the pan. Chicken is cooked, but not all the way cooked because it's gonna continue cooking in the crock pot, so you just wanna make sure that it's lightly browned. Can we do this? Yes, we can! And we have lots of cans today. Whenever you're using canned things, especially for something like chili, you wanna make sure that you're draining your canned ingredients. Otherwise, you're just gonna end up with soup. Time to dump in all the canned things. Kidney beans. Pinto beans. Black beans. Corn. A can of diced tomatoes that have been strained. Another can of diced tomatoes that have not been strained. So we have all the juices here. <laughs> now I have some red onions that have been pre-chopped because again, I don't want to chop onions, so. Well, I suppose we've reached the part where I can't avoid cutting things anymore, so I have a green bell pepper, a jalapeno pepper, and four large cloves of garlic that I will be cutting up into small pieces. Now you may be wondering, why are we making chili in a slow cooker today? I want chili now. Well, this is something that I say quite often to be totally H. Sometimes it's all about the long-term relationship and not the one night stand, because we want this meal to last all week and not just one night. This chopped goodness will now go in here. For the seasonings, we are going to use the rest of the chili seasoning in this packet that we used earlier, and then a brand new one. And then we're gonna add a few shakes of these guys. Cumin. Well, I like a lot of chili powder. Chili powder actually isn't spicy, it's just really tasty. However, cayenne pepper is very, very, very spicy. And remember, if you don't like heat, there are plenty of other ways to spice up your chili and your life. Spoon, mix. And now, we shall reunite the soul of the crock pot with its body over there. This is gonna cook for eight hours on low or for four hours on high. When your chili is finished, it will look something like this. And I thought this bowl slash cup was perfect because of the yellow rim. I thought it really brought out the corn. I also have some cheese here and not just any cheese. This is my favorite cheese from Kerrygold, which I love because it's all like grass fed stuff and very, very tasty. Make it rain, make it rain, make it rain, make it rain. That is gonna be it for my chili recipe today. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I really hope you guys make it, because if you do, you're gonna have lots of leftovers. Just look at this. Look at this refrigerator that I have. 
Look at all that chili in there. This is not a dinky little Tupperware. This is heavy. Like you could work out with this and then eat it afterwards. So if you make this chili yourself, send me photos on Twitter and Instagram at Ingrid Nilsson and I'm gonna check your photos out and probably get real hungry, so. There's that. And if you want to see more of my videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss one. And that's going to be it for today. I love you. Have a wonderful, wonderful day slash life slash all of that. Mm.